hey guys welcome to digit and in this video we are going to be looking at a rather popular dc to dc buck boost voltage regulator module that's based on the xl 6009 regulator now this is a switching regulator which means it takes the voltage and switches it on and off very frequently and on top of that it takes the output and filters it out so that you have a linear voltage on the output but overall the functioning is quite different compared to linear voltage regulators now let's begin with looking at the spec sheet now this is the xl semi xl 6009 it's a 400 kilohertz 60 volt 4 ampere switching current buck boost dc to dc converter now buck basically means it takes the input voltage and drops it boost means it takes the input voltage and increases it now in this particular configuration it is designed to take the input voltage and increase it but you can always alter the potentiometer to reduce that as well now switching regulators like this particular xl 6009 have high efficiency rating about 94 percent in this case but the overall circuit once designed could alter this efficiency rating now if we look at the spec sheet we can see all the different specifications that it has we see that it has a wide input voltage 5 volts to 32 volts and it has a maximum switching current of 4 amperes which we've seen earlier the output voltage is something we can see a little lower down over here and we see the absolute maximum ratings of this module you can see the input voltage is minus 0.3 to 36 that is a v in and the feedback pin voltage as well as the en pin voltage are related to the v in lastly we have the output which is what we are concerned with that is 60 volts maximum however this refers to the package itself that is the little black thing in the center of the module once you build the entire circuit around it these values vary so in our case this particular module can give around 45 to 47 volts on the output provided you're giving about 0 to 36 volts on the input now because this is a switching module it doesn't heat up as much as linear modules though. in this case if you were to draw a similar amperage from a buck boost converter like the xl 6009 then we'd get around 35 degrees to 40 degrees celsius here is a switching module like the XL 6009. As you can see, you have the input terminals on the left, the control element in the center, and then there's an inductor load on the right. And lastly, you have the output. Now, what happens in this case is that once the circuit powers up, it reaches a certain voltage level after which it decides to turn off. That's the cutoff level. But you still have a capacitor load inside, which means the output is still going to be provided. And then there are external filter capacitors to smoothen it out. So the entire circuit switches on and switches off at a really high frequency to provide the output. In the case of the XL6009, the efficiency rating for the IC was 94%. And because it's switching on and off, you are not functioning all over the time which means your overall heat generation is much lower lastly this can be converted into operate in a buck configuration boost configuration or a negative voltage operation disadvantages of the xl6000 now you need a lot more parts as you can see on the circuit board in order to make it work this complicated design makes it difficult to implement and there's also the added element of configuring the output using the potentiometer you can obviously fix this but the complication is more compared to a linear voltage regulator like the LM7805. Lastly, because there's an inductor involved, you have coil wine, which means if your circuit requires absolutely no external noise, then using a switching mode power supply is not advisable unless you have really proper shielding. So that was it, a really brief quick summary of how the XL6009 switching mode power supply works. Thank you for watching.